Hey everybody, this is Blocky T, and we're playing Smite, and we're finally going to find out once and for all whether or not Fatalis is a bad item. Now, I know there's a lot of math, and I know some of you are, you just already, you're already deciding on Fatalis, you just know it's a bad item. But I don't think that I've used Fatalis for a long time, and we're finally going to find out if it's as terrible as people say it is. Because some people, they just absolute worst item in the game worthless if you if you buy it you are the worst person ever uninstall smite I, I've never even said that before because I bought fatalis but I haven't told that no, that that's not relevant sorry um so yeah uh, I'm just farming devourers gloves right now I think I have a pretty typical build for Artemis I have uh oops, sorry uh, I have fatalis rage Deathbringer, Executioner, Devourer's Gloves, which we're getting the stacks for now, and Jotun's Wrath, which I'll show you right here. Jotun's Wrath, Devourer's Gloves, Executioner, Deathbringer, Rage, and Fatalis. Now, I think this is a pretty typical build. I see Deathbringer and Executioner a lot on pretty much every range that he carries. Same with Devourer's Gloves and Jotun's Wrath, just on physical characters in general. But I, I rarely see Fatalis, and I think that it's just because there's a stigma against it. People just say, oh, it's so bad, and then people just don't try it. So, yeah, uh, I'll take a moment to show you my stats. All physical, this is pretty much I would, what I would build. Physical power, 261. Attack speed, 1.7. 15 physical penetration, 18 life steal, and 50% critical chance. Now. About this test, I'm just going to go over there, solo fire giant with Fatalis, and see how long it takes. Then after that, I'm going to wait for the oh, not full stacks. Uh, I'm going to wait for the buff to wear off. Then I'm going to go switch out Fatalis for Chin's Blades, which I've heard that recommend as an alternative to Fatalis. So eh, uh, I'm going to try that out then, and we'll replace Fatalis with Boots again because those are both alternatives I've heard recommended to me. And I'm going to use Elixir of Defense that doesn't b boost my attack in any way. It's just so I don't die as easily. Which, I've tried recording this a couple times already, but due to technical failures, it hasn't worked out. So, generally it takes around 15 seconds without me using Vengeful Assault. So, we'll wait until 3... We should wait until 3.50, it's easier to count. But then we just might as well wait to 4 minutes. Uh, so yeah, now I understand. This is not a realistic test. This is just plainly to see how Fatalis affects your DPS. Now, I start exactly at 4 minutes, and yeah, I understand that the amount of time it can take to kill this will depend almost entirely on how many crits I get. But I think we're, we're going to get around the same amount of crits each time. So that took what, 15 seconds? Yeah, I, I think it did. I'm sorry, I wasn't watching. I've done this so many... Oh. Did I kill him? I didn't get the buff. That's new. Uh, I, I'll just walk in and walk back out. It'll respawn. So, oh, well, I didn't get the buff, so... Almost seems glitched. Mm. So, alright, I'm gonna get Chin's Blades. I think that's how you say it. We'll try again. That was like 15 seconds on the late side of 15 seconds, so now we'll try it with Chin's Blades. And I still got the Elixir going. And we will start at 510. Let's see. Now, as I was saying, this test is not perfect. It's just to measure, is Fatalis actually that bad? It, will it just wreck you? And, no, the answer doesn't appear to be so. We started at 5 minutes 10 seconds, and right about oh, 14 seconds. So, around the same, within a second it appears. So, yeah, I, I don't think there's that big a difference. And, I mean, I think, now, if I was actually fighting an enemy god there, which, I might try this, where's Ra? Uh, there's Ra. Uh, I might try this on an enemy god, because Chin's Blade's passives you do 2.5% damage with each basic attack. So overall that might be more effective than Fatalis at killing gods, 
So, we'll see. But at the same time, Fatalis is passive where you don't lose any speed from backpedaling. I cannot count how many times that has saved me. Huh. Well, I guess Rod doesn't attack you. <laughs> First blood. Alright, uh, I'm going to wait. Fatalis, it took 15 seconds to kill the fire giant. Uh, it appears Chin's Blades took 14 seconds, which I think that with the amount of criticals we get, that will vary within a second at least. So It doesn't seem to be that big a variation. And I'll be right back once the buff wears off, and we'll try a warrior topic. Alright, fire giant buff is almost out, and we're back. So uh, I almost forgot to show my stats with Chin's Blade. I forget how they compare before. I think my physical power is a little higher, and but my attack speed is a little lower. So, yeah. Alright, we'll switch out with Warrior Top, because that's another item I've had recommended to switch with me, even though these are just kind of early game items. But hey, physical penetration is a rare stat. So, alright, we'll go take out Fire Giant. And we'll start at 10 minutes exactly, and that'll be the end of the video. Uh, I'm sorry, I feel like this is this attempt is almost worse than my other attempts, but I think it'll still work. So I think the point of the video is being conveyed. But yeah. Once again, this test is not perfect. It doesn't take into account utility. It doesn't take it into account just oh, 14 seconds. Not bad. Um, so, alright. I think that'll be the end of the video. Uh, Fatalis took 15 seconds, Chin's Blades and Warrior Tabi took 14 seconds to kill the Fire Giant. I don't think that's that big a difference. And Fatalis, that was a light, that was a light 15 seconds. That was, it was almost half a second's difference. Not that big a deal, and if you like the passive, then go for it. So, alright, see you next time, and I hope this clears things up. I made this video because I looked at the math, I completely confused me. I didn't know how to apply it to gameplay at all. So, alright. Uh, see you next time.